Hey, I'm Sally BC here, and today I'm doing a video on the Transformers Wolf Cybertron Trilogy Siege, Micromaster, Spy Patrol, Ravage, and Laserbeak. So here they are in their what modes? So these are branded as armor plating. Since they have these flip out 5mm ports on them, this just seems cruel. Of course, they were rebranded because their cassette modes aren't very modern, are they? With that being the case, they don't look very show accurate at all. I'm not saying they look bad, they are both covered in paint. And Ravage has these two Decepticon logos. They both have the legs of their other mode sticking out underneath. And that's pretty much all the kibble, really. For comparison, here is Earthrise Optimus Prime, Covert Agent Ravage, G1 Ravage, my only other Micromasters, Holly, and Fire, a Battle Master, Earthrise Rung, my last Transformers video, Collaborative Gigawatt, and Earthrise Optimus Prime. Moving on to the transformation, we'll start with Laserbeak. First of all, you move down these side sections. Then I'd recommend pushing this up a little bit and then pushing it back down. That will make it easier to grab hold of this and pull up the head. Then you just want to fold this up and flip down the legs. Now for Ravage. Start by flipping out these, disconnecting these back panels, folding this whole section round like this until it clicks into place, folding these up, flipping out the head, folding these down. Then at the back you want to turn these round and then finagle these legs out. And with Laserbeak satisfying and Ravage's frustrating transformation, here they are in their robot modes. Beast modes? Primary modes? I'm gonna stick with robot. Laserbeak looks great. It's his Cybertronian design rather than his Earth, more bird looking design. If that bugs you, go track down the Netflix box set. He's got 3mm ports on the back, so he's compatible with blast effects. <laughs> All the painted detail transfers over to this mode and looks great. Ravage on the other hand, why is he so wide? He was really skinny in the cartoon and this is just the complete opposite. Paint from alt mode also carries over to this mode and looks just as good here. With the Decepticon symbols on his shoulders, he doesn't have the same issue as Laserbeak. This head is very earth-like. For articulation, Laserbeak has a swivel at the wing but it locks into place, a hinge at the base of the neck and a hinge at the head, and outward hinges at the legs but they also click into place. Ravage has an up and down at the head, front legs can go forward and back, his front legs can go out, front knee can go back and forward, back legs can go forward and back, and the knee can go forward. Their articulation is incredibly limited, so you can't really get them anything outside of them just standing still. For comparison, here's Earthrise Optimus Prime, Covert Agent Ravage, G1 Ravage, other Micromasters, Fire and Holly, a Battle Master, Earthrise Rung, my last Transformers video, Collaborative Gigawatt, and Earthrise Optimus Prime. Overall, we have a nice Robo Condor and a Robo Black Jaguar who's on the brink of being nice. But that's about it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. My links are in the description. So I guess that's Sally BC out. Next time is, damn it, a very similar dino.